Hey guys, hey Divine Masculines, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel. This is Womanual, my masculine channel where the masculines come to hear what's going on with their Divine Feminine and where the feminine would come to find out what's going on with their energy so they know what to work on. Alright, a number for you guys as we, we just started, 707, so there's some spiritual enlightenment going on here. So Divine Masculines, let's jump in. Let's see what your guides have to say to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, Divine Masculines, let's start off with your Romance Angels. Let's see what they have to say to you in regards to your connection, your Twin Flame connection. Let's see what they have to say to you. Getting to know each other. Oh, Divine Masculines. So you'll be getting to know your Divine Feminine more here. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So some of your divine masculines are going to be communicating with your divine feminines, getting closer to them, learning more about them, having that conversation for the future. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I not only like it, and not only like it, I love it. You have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So some of you divine masculines may be having financial issues. Some of you may be thinking that the way that your finances are right now, it does not help you to move forward for a brighter future. And you may be focused on that right now, but you got to remember money isn't all but at the same time in order to achieve what you are seeking what you want to improve you gotta trust god you gotta allow god to lead you and guide you if you want that perfect job you gotta ask god if you want to move from your the location that you're at you gotta ask god because you're a twin flame you're god's servant and now that you have discovered who you are and that you have this spiritual connection with somebody else. You both are guided by God. You both are protected by God. And God is putting you back in the right, on the right path. So that you don't get lost. So that you achieve everything that you should have achieved years ago. When you were not with your divine feminine. And that's why you've met your Divine Feminine, so you can be on the right path. The path that God intended you to be on. And you have free yourself. So some of you are definitely in situations that are keeping you stuck. Some of you with a financial situation. Some of you with other people. Some of you a job that you don't like. An apartment you want to get out of. An apartment you want to get. <laughs> retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so this is telling you that there is something that you really need to go on the inside to find like stop seeking these advices from the outside world the answers you're looking for is on the inside and you'll find those answers through praying talking to god asking for answers which will lead you on your financial abundance on your path towards love on your path towards happiness and success. The life you've been dreaming of, exactly. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So if some of you divine masculines have been wondering, like, oh my God, are we, are we really twin flames? And, you know, this situation or, or what's going on between us? Oh, a special powerful number for you guys, 711. 711 is about unions so again some of you will be coming into union with your person and again this is your confirmation right here if you've been wondering why does this person feel so familiar to you why can't you let go off of this person why is this person always on your mind why can't you stop thinking about them why did this person enter my life that's because you have known each other before. You have had past lives with this person before. Notice how comfortable you feel around this person. Sometimes you will talk and say things you will never tell anybody else. <laughs> 
that's because you're so comfortable with this person. And that's because you have been in those situations before where you have been together, loving each other, caring for each other. So you're very much comfortable with them in your presence. So you feel free around them. Like, it's just natural. It's just natural. Give me one more, please, Father God. One more, please. Oh, I got three. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Always asking for one. <laughs> God says, Twindy, be quiet. I'll give you what I want to give you. <laughs> okay, big man. i listen. Trust. Your feminine's got this as well. 454, four, another number. This situation is calling for you to have faith. This situation, this twin flame journey, this is calling for you to have faith in God. Because this is something you've never experienced before. Well, neither you nor your divine feminine. But you've got to learn to trust God. You've got to learn to trust what God is telling you. And you have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So divine masculines, please pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you're receiving. Pay attention because these signs and synchronicities are, again, pulling you from places where you don't belong, from, from people with whom you do not belong, from insecurities that you need to release. Because you will notice these changes happening in your life. Things are mostly falling apart. The only thing that feels right is your divine feminine. And all the things that are falling apart, your insecurities, you're, you're, you're forced to, to acknowledge that you have codependent issues. You're forced to acknowledge that you, you are scared. You're forced to acknowledge that you are insecure with yourself, that you do not feel like the person that you need to be. You're forced to recognize that there are things wrong inside of you and wrong outside of you. And the only person, again, that makes you feel comfortable is a divine feminine that's because right now at this point in your life the only thing that's right is the divine feminine because they're here to help you to see the masculine that you need to be the masculine that you need to achieve that person the emperor they reflect to you the person that you are so some of you divine masculines will look at your divine feminine and you admire them how strong they are. You admire them how they make decisions without even wondering or, or hesitating. That's because they are showing you who you truly are and what you need to be. The emperor. They are mirroring to you who you are. And that's why you are going to start to make these changes because you are going to follow what they are showing you. And like I said, this union is happening between you and your person. Reconciliation. Some, for someone from your past is returning to your life. Your divine feminine. You're about, you're about to reach out to your divine feminine. You're about to make things right with your divine feminine. Because you have known each other before. It's a past life connection. You belong together. Everything else is falling apart because they need to go. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So again, some of you divine masculines may have things that hurt you from the past. From, you, from childhood days. Things that make you feel insecure within yourself. Not receiving enough love from your parents or however things may have worked out for you in the past. Forgiveness. Is needed you got to forgive you got to let it go so that you can move forward and soulmate this is your soulmate that's what you call them divine feminines divine masculines right your soulmate so this is your soulmate again another confirmation this is your soulmate and look at these three cards look at how they embrace in each other because they have known each other before because you're so comfortable with this person because this person loves you so much and you love this person so so much and you can feel it in your heart you can feel it you know it you know it see what's in the middle forgiving and learning like I said forgiveness is, is needed here divine masculines you need to learn from your past 
You need to look at the mistakes that you made in your past. You need to look at the, the type of people that you entertain in your life. And you need to know who you need to release. Because you, like again, you know and you feel when you're being hurt. So it's time for you to stop putting that behind. Stop trying to cover it up. And work towards your happiness. And 1022. And again, another number signifying reunion, reconciliation, 717. I don't know if it, yeah, 717. And you already got 711. So some of you divine masculines will be going into union with your divine feminines. And this again is your confirmation to show you that yes, you are headed in the right direction. You are. Give me some messages here, please, for these divine masculines. You have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. N yeah, now that you have figured out that you're a twin flame. This soul family, especially this woman you all that I have for you guys. Talk to other people in the chat room. That's why I premiered a video so you can talk. Speak with other divine masculines. Because you also have divine masculines who are women. Right? You have divine masculines who are women. And you will be able to see things from a different perspective. And if you want to know how a divine masculine can be a woman. Because some of you may be women and you're wondering how comes you're in a divine masculine energy. And how comes there are some men who are in a divine feminine energy. Purchase the book guys. It will show you what you need to learn. Purchase it on my website, twindflamed.square.site. So you gather with these people who understand what you're facing, what you're going through, that understand you. And you feel freer, more calm. Polarity, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. So divine masculine, sometimes you're worried about your your insecurities. Sometimes you're wonder you're worried that your person won't love you the way that you are. Everyone has good and bad within them, but what we need to learn is how to manage, how to control it, how to not let one take our life over. Because sometimes we do too much good, sometimes we do too much bad, but we gotta learn to balance. We got to learn to balance all those insecurities. They're a part of you. They're not going anywhere. But you just need to learn how to control them. So that they do not interfere with your positive life. There will be some sort of celebration here, Divine Masculines. Cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycle of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. So your body is calling you, pushing you towards your divine feminine. You can feel these changes happening inside of you. Some you understand, some you don't understand what's going on. Because your chakras may be aligning, you don't understand what you're feeling. My email is in the description box. You can email me and ask me questions. Especially the divine masculines who are just finding out about this twin flame situation. You need more answers. Email me. I'll respond. I will respond. It's in the description box. Email me, twindflamed at gmail.com. You have expansion. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. So you have a gift. We are servants of God as twin flames, and we are meant to show everyone what true love is in this world. And we will do that through our actions. You, you survive in the negative people, places, things, animals, whoever in your life. And you get the chance to reunite with your divine feminine. That's going to show those people who were around you giving that bad advice. Manipulating you. Keeping you stuck. Keeping you away from your person. Misleading you. Telling you bad things about your person. That will show them that true love always prevails. That will show them that God always wins. That's what we are here to do as Twin Flames. Del delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. 
Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Yeah, expect the best. You want to communicate with your person. You're saying, oh my God, my person is probably going to cuss me out or whatever. Always expect the best here. You want to take a leap of faith. You want to move from where you are. You're thinking you're, it's not going to happen. You're thinking, oh my God, I can't get the money to do it. Always expect the best because when you pray, when you trust in God, God will make a way. And especially for us who are here to serve him and do his will, he's going to make that way possible for you so you can do his will. Goodness. Honor, the divine feminine, honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. That's it, divine masculines. Now you need to step into your divine feminine energy. Now you need to start to show compassion. Now you need to learn to love yourself. Now you need to love every part of you. You are who you are. Your divine feminine loves you just the way you are. And some of you are thinking that your divine feminine won't love you because of who you are. Or they may not know who you truly are. They already know who you are. They can feel you. You have had past lives together. So they know who you are. They love you, good and bad. Because everybody has good and bad, again, with the polarity. So you just got to learn how to control them. So now, step into your feminine energy and learning to love yourself. Learning to have compassion on yourself. Learning to give love to others. To show your love, to express yourself. So you need to balance your feminine energy as long along with your divine masculine energy oh my gosh i think your feminine's got these two already the same courage archangel ariel be courageous and stand up for your beliefs hold on be courageous and stand up for your beliefs remember who you are you're a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. This has been your message, Divine Masculines. Take care of yourself. Love you. Let go and let God. And I'll see you in your next message. Later. Love you guys.